In the city that never sleeps, the empty sidewalks suggest people are staying home, awake to the danger they face, and New York's state governor is bracing people for what's to come. One of the forecasters said to me, we were looking at a freight train coming across the country. We're now looking at a bullet train because the numbers are going up that quickly. As of this afternoon, the US now has around 55,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus and the state of New York accounts for almost half of them. So far, 785 people have died in America after contracting COVID-19. At least 271 of them were in New York. Alexander, who lives in Manhattan, had symptoms of COVID-19. He's recovered and staying home, but says others aren't following advice. Definitely the mood has switched in the past few days. I think people are starting to realise how serious the situation really is. Um, Definitely this past weekend, though, there were lots of pictures in the news and online of people in the parks, in Central Park. The Javits Conference Centre on Manhattan's 11th Avenue is poised to help at the 11th hour if hospitals become overwhelmed, taking up to 1,000 patients in temporary wards. The country's president says he is working hard to help New York City and state and hopes the country can shake off the pandemic in just three weeks' time. I said earlier today that I hope we can do this by Easter. I think that would be a great thing for our country, and we're all working very hard to make that a reality. We'll be meeting with a lot of people to see if it can be done. But those preparing for a surge of infections in New York State aren't optimistic, warning the area needs 30,000 ventilators to cope. The hardest hit place in the US, this Empire State is now the epicenter in America. Alan Jenkins, 5 News.